Hey team. Okay, okay. I didn't keep up with my um, video making each week, but just I don't know. I don't think I'm very natural. I don't. I actually don't like getting on camera, making videos. I I struggled with it. But anyway, I'm I'm ad libbing this video. I'm trying to keep it organic. I'm cleaning the interior of my car for the first time, and I'm using Armor Oil. I've been using actually we've been using Armor Oil now for. 30 years, over 30 years. Okay. Um, it's the first interior clean of the car. And the problem is, I probably would have done it earlier because, like, the car's. I haven't done any, I haven't cleaned it for like with this thoroughbility, if that's a word. For the six weeks that the car that I've had the car, but the thing is with Armor Oil, it it gives your it gives everything like a excellent lush shine, but it has this sort of oily effect. And so once you apply it, you've got to keep doing it. And so I was a bit reluctant to do it straight away because I knew that once you get that that oily sort of protective coating on everything you got to keep doing it and um, I've used it on the leather as well which it didn't say you couldn't use it but it didn't say you could so they're like imagining them that giving themselves a bit of wiggle room but I think the reason why they didn't recommend it for leather is because it gets it makes things slippery so um, Maybe they thought it was a bit dangerous, but I like it because it. Once you've done it on a new surface, uh, about three times, not straight away, but just over, sort of a couple of months, it sort of gives everything like a, like this sort of surface. Uh, this like shell-like surface, protective, coating on everything. And it does it does work really well. It's the best stuff I've found to stop things drying out. I've just put it on the dash here. It's a brand new dash, and it was very dry. So the sun here has such a dehydrating effect on everything. And plastics, yeah, um, once they become dry, they become brittle. So this is the first sort of big clean I've done. I've given them. I mean, I clean the car nearly every day with um, antiseptic and stuff. But you're only doing the surfaces that people sort of touch just to keep it all hygienic. But this time I'm using the armor oil, it's gonna go in every little nook and cranny. So it's it's sort of a lubricant uh, um, hydrating effect, keep everything moist. But once you once you apply it, you've got to keep doing it. That's that's sort of the that's the um, downside with the armor oil. But I've put it on the leather seats, and I like the way that it's lush. But what I've found from the past is that you've got to do it about three times to get that sealant effect on it. And then um, after that, it, well, basically what you're trying to do is stop stuff from drying out because the sun, the sun here just um, it magnifies through the windscreen and through the glass and just dries everything out. I don't know if I'm going to publish this video. Um, is it an eco video? I guess it is because uh, the more pr protective you are of what you own, the less you have to replace it. Can I use that as, a, as an argument? And not only that, keeping everything clean, um, I found that you, you actually do less maintenance. So you can save money, you can save, I guess you can sort of look at it from an eco point of view. And by the way, this the armor all aren't, aren't paying me. They should, but but I just um, got sick of waiting for my for my investment return. So I'm just going to have to ha handle the armor all in a different manner now. And um, But I've found it's the best thing to use for the interior of your car. There's probably 
there's probably better things now over the last 30 years but um being an old-fashioned sort of guy I've I used it in the past and um, I've used a couple of things but I find that it it does it does protecting I think a lot of people give up on armor because it's it's got that oily feel and um, if you do it too too close to each clean it does make everything oily and it feels oily but if you le leave it a couple of weeks to dry to like soak into the surface of of the uh, interior uh, uh, composition or the products that they use I find it, it it sort of it's the first coat it's like paint the first coat sort of soaks in and seals and then the next coat is sort of like an undercoat and then like after about the third time that's when it sort of dries and it becomes I think it becomes um, combines with the, mo the molecular structure of the of the surface that you're doing and it does protect and I find that it, it does stop things from breaking down it can make it can even restore things I used to use it on old cars and restore dashes they used to look brand new so there probably is better things by now but I find that I haven't had any really bad experience with the Dharma or so so I'm not encouraged to use anything else and like I know I know it doesn't it doesn't break things it doesn't um, as long as you don't pour it into your electronics it's fairly safe to use you don't drink it or anything like that or sniff the bottle it's fairly safe to use so I'm happy to use it now so it's been around for, we, were, we were cleaning our cars in the 80s early 80s with armor oil I'm pretty sure in the mid 80s uh, early to mid 80s we were using armor oil and I, as, as I as I imagine I don't suppose they've changed the the um, the ingredients so I'm going to keep using it um, yeah so um, yeah so as I'm sitting here I'm just thinking I might film film this one day I would like to do some more more videos um, on the media network so anyway that's all I've got to say you got any thoughts just put them share them share them in the comments and um anyway uh swd social web dynamics everything's gone dark now the sun just went away <laughs> swd social web dynamics green to stay eco make eco fun and we'll leave it at that over and out